friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I am cutting, growing flowers to cut in upstate New York zone 4B. Upstate New York as in like middle of the state. So I'm not near Canada and I'm not near New York City, flat in the middle of New York State. So I'm having my evening coffee, Gumfrida. And um, I just finished dinner and I had to work all day in the office today working on some newsletters for some school districts and I'm done with that for now. Seriously, glads are like sword lilies. Proper name. So I actually have to go harvest glads right now because I don't like when they open in the field because then the crickets get on them and they start to get damaged and uh, they're more likely to have bug damage if you let them open in the field. I don't mind them opening like this in my house, in my basement, in the cooler. Um, I, they open up a little bit and honestly when people are buying them, um, like a porch sale or a bouquet bar, they're going for the ones that are open. They're not going for the ones that are closed. The florist wants the ones that are closed. Um, some customers, we, you have to explain to them. I've had to explain to probably 10 customers last weekend that yes, they will open in the vase. They're not open now, but they'll open at home for you. So you have to get people used to having fresh flowers. Glads are um, not usually open when the florist gets them. So, unless they're getting them locally, which I suggest, recommend, highly recommend. Anyway, I just wanted a couple of things. I uh, want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Number one, um, I'm so excited because I spoke to the owner of a local nursery today, a local greenhouse. He has a U-Pick blueberry operation. And uh, while well, I had spoken to him a couple of months ago, I bought some Pro Mix off of him. And I started some seedlings with that. And he at the time said, why don't you get a hold of us later in the summer and maybe you could jump on to our, our big wholesale order. So I actually got to talk to him today and I'm in. I'm jumping in on his wholesale order. He gave me the names of where he orders from. And um, this way, it's there's two fairly large greenhouse nurseries, um, one that way and one that way, north and south of me. I'm in the middle and the three of us are gonna go in on an order. That way our shipping costs are lower. Um, so I highly recommend that if you have other growers in your area, jump on board with them and get to that wholesale order. For example, there is a place that sells perennials, Woody's perennials. I believe it's in Ohio. Um, I just was talking to Dave Dowling about it the other day. I emailed him asking uh, where would be a good place. And he tells me the name of this place and he said, just so you know, Nicole, it's a $1,500 minimum order. So he recommended finding a, a smaller local place where I didn't have to have that high of an order. I think eventually I would have that high of an order, but today I'm not making that big of an order on perennials, although I think I did last year. But anyway, what I'm saying is contact your local greenhouses, see if they have an order that you can jump on. It helps them out because you help with the shipping costs and um, it, it ends up working out great for everybody. Anyway, a couple things. A couple The straw flower petal just fell off. I have some new dahlias that are opening up in the field. I posted a picture on my socials today. I have Diva and the Alfred Grill Cactus Dahlia. I love cactus dahlias, guys. So many people don't like them. They were my most prolific growers last year. I had this purple and white one that was to die for. Like one plant had 40 stems on it. I could literally sit in my field of dahlias all day long. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a problem that I'm having with my zinnias. Anybody else having, um, so I think they have blight. Not all of them, but I think a couple of plants, they have dark spots on the leaves. And I have some that are lasting gorgeous in the vase. And then I have some that do this. After a few days, they turn brown right in the vase. I picked these all at the same time. So there you have a brown nasty who and then a gorgeous yellow one, picked at the same time. Same thing with, with this. Actually, I think that one's just dry, the water's low. I'm just kidding. Water's low. Okay, so this one, this one's wet. Browned up. I just poked myself with the straw flower. <laughs> They're so prickly. Anyway. I am doing a neem oil treatment once a week on the zinnias to get rid of the, the, 
the neem oil that I use also has a fungicide, fungicide, fung, it has the F word in it, okay? It has the F word. So I'm doing a treatment. I am noticing they're so much better. Oh my gosh, already the zinnias that were um, having damage just two weeks ago, I, but it's been two weeks since I've done the treatment. They're so much better already. I'm super excited about it. Now to the deathly hollows, jeez Louise. I'm starting to harvest straw flowers and they're prickly like porcupines, guys. Let me see if I can get it close to my microphone so you can actually hear it. Whoa, my chair's tipping over. I feel like a musical instrument. Okay, anyway. They're super cool. So this is not the first one that I harvested. I harvested two the other day. Now I, I do have, I think, eight straw flower plants and I am getting some harvest off of them, so I might put them in the bouquet bar. So anyway, yeah, having another bouquet bar. This Saturday, uh, I have a massive quantity of glads, a massive quantities of sunnies. Oh, by the way, that one sunflower from the last video, the the, um, the light yellow with the, the gold green inside, we determined, when I say we, I mean Gina and I, and a couple of other flower friends, thank you for your help. Um, that is a pro cut gold. We were debating between the gold and the gold light. The gold light has a smaller green center. So Gina is growing the gold light. And um, so guess what's on my list now, guys? Guess what's on my list? Has anyone finished their seed order for next year yet? Raise your hand. Nope, mine's not going up because guess what? I had already put in a massive seed order for Johnny's. Super happy with it, got all my seeds, thought I was done, and then boom, Lizzie Anthus happened. Lizzie Anthus happened, she happened. So, I am ordering 17 varieties of Lizzie Anthus next year. And if you think that's a lot, I think Gina's got 28 on her list. Jana, where's my phone? My phone's inside. No, it's right there. Um, don't need to check. I think I know. She's got at least 27. I think she got up to 28. And um, and then while I just happened to be on Geo's website, I ordered more. I ordered a lot of other things. Well, you don't order on a website. So Geo, you have to call or send in like a PDF for them. Anyway, I smell basil. It smells amazing. Anyway, so because I have so much stuff, I have glads, I have suns, I have dahlias, I have zinnias, I have uh, celosia, I have scabiosa, I have basil up the wazoo. I actually have some snapdragons left and I'm thinking about adding them into the mix. And then Gina is also, um, guess what? Gina's florist was closed for not one, two weeks. She sent me a message last night and said, I'm looking over the message from my florist and she's closed for two weeks. So I said, I'll take them give me them all give them all to me speaking of the guys this is like me rambling on for 10 minutes i apologize speaking of the video the other day i was getting ready because the florist was coming to my house to um pick out some stuff that i had gotten for her so she ended up buying all my lizzie Anthus. it's okay it's okay it's what i'm it's what's here for but all my lizzie Anthus all the lilies the pink lilies um which by the way i smell amazing oh my god those came from awnings so awnings is another wholesale bulb place do i have that in my links below i don't think so but hank h-e-n-k hank awnings is my rep for awnings he's awesome he's you might see him commenting in some of the other um uh things he's on the flower farmers page and stuff like that so uh, great wholesale deals. You do have to have a business license um, and you need to fill out like tax exempt forms and stuff for that company. Hank is pretty cool. I bought 650 lilies from them this year and I feel like I made my money back like threefold with my lilies that I had this year. So there's that. And then um, what else? She bought, oh, glads. So she bought all the glads, all, not all the glads. She bought some glad some glad stems all the lisianthus and all the lilies that i had available so and then guess what she came back again tonight so she texted me while i was at work and asked if i had any more glads and any more lisianthus and um what else did she buy from me today oh sunflowers so she came down and she, it's so nice my florist comes right to my house i didn't even have to deliver them she knew i was working today so um 
she came down she picked out she had a very specific pinky mint green um yellow glads which and the coral creamy colors i had all those so i i put a bunch together for her and then she said whatever sunflowers i had she bought all of those so um yeah these are the unexpected things during the week you know you get a phone call or a text message saying hey i need this um so it's like what do you got now all right and in those cases i knew it was for a bouquet that someone was like picking up tomorrow so i'm able to give her the glads that are opened more like something like this which i don't know if this is going to be okay by the time the bouquet bar comes on um sunday like this is what i would normally this is what i would normally bring to the florist even more closed this would not normally go to the florist this is bouquet bar all day long people want this florist wants this because people want to see that instant gratification you bring it to the florist it's going in the cooler most likely unless it's an order that they need right away like today so i knew i was like here you go take the ones that are open because she needed them can we just talk about this one right here This is the most delicate, pure white glad that I have ever. Son of a, you son of a thrip. I decided my swear word, guys. It's gonna be thrip. I was talking to my mom. I was talking to my mom about it. I go, mom, I need to find a, a word that I can use, a curse word that's, that's kid friendly and um i just it just kept coming to me my mom goes what about one of those bugs and she's like what about tarnished plant bug i was like mom i can't say son of a tarnished plant bug every time i want to swear but then i was like thrip thrips so i can say like holy thrips or son of a thrip that's it guys it's thrips <laughs> i love it because those little those little thrips are a little nasty little buggers anyway Making a t-shirt, thrips, son of a thrips, or son of a thrip, or holy thrip. Yep, that's it, that's it. So anytime I, unless I'm referring to the bug itself, anytime I hear, you hear me say thrips, it's happening. It's happening. Where do you guys wanna go? Somebody asked to see my zinnias the other day. You guys wanna go see my zinnias quick? Did I, was I talking about anything else? Oh, holy crap, hold on, I'll be right back. Are you ready? <laughs> Specialty Cut Flowers by Dr. Alan Armitage and Judy Lauschman. Have you seen this on Amazon for over $200? Guess what? He sells it on his website for 40. And guess what else he does? He signs it for you. I got a little choked up. He wrote, hi to my flower friend. Enjoy all you do, Alan Armitage. <sighs> okay, all right, I need to sit down. Guys, this book came in the mail. I'm like, I'm getting all cozy with you guys. This is how I sit on the couch. Came in the mail two days ago, yesterday, yesterday. It's only been a day. I have learned so much from two pages two pages i'm not even kidding you this specialty cut flowers i will i don't want to give any, away any secrets but this book look on amazon it's over 200 dollars. i think it's sold out on his website right now but it's coming back you know it's coming back go to his website i believe it's alanarmitage.net ah. is it on here no. Hold on a second, guys. I'll get the information. Alan Armitage. Professor. He is a doctor. A professor. Oh, my God. He's so sweet. He was born on June 1st, 1946. He was born in Canada. And he went to Michigan State University. He's a fantastic. AlanArmitage.net. That is his website. Go to his bookstore or books shopping books and then he's got a list and guys he has a ton of other books too don't buy the perennial one until i do 
Please don't buy the perennial one until I do. I need it and I don't have the funds right now, okay? Don't do it. Thrifts I'm watching you. Okay, zinnias, let's go. Don't they look so good? I'm so happy with them. I'll show you what I mean by the blight though that I think they're getting. Okay, so some of them, not all of them, have this on the bottom. I probably should remove the lower leaves. But anyway, I'm spraying them. Now I don't wanna, and I've been afraid to cut them um, because I don't want to transfer the blight from one plant to the next. You can see I haven't been cutting these because I've been so concerned about their vase life. Um, but they're starting to get, and look, you can do the wiggle test. These ones are great. They're all, oh, that's got a little bit of a wiggle to it. Um, so anyway, zinnia, um, you have to pick the right time to harvest because if you don't harvest them at the right time and they have a little wiggle to their heads, they'll do the droop. So um, like this is definitely not ready. You can, can you see that in the corner? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. This one, clearly ready. You wiggle it and it's, it moves with you. It doesn't move against you. Oh, but, oh, look at these reds, the pinks, the yellows. So I did plant them in um, like a color block and then I had a lot of death. I had a lot of death. I planted them like everything else on my farm. On a, oh God, grass, just grass poking me on a day where it was followed by two 90 degree days. And that's the day where I lost most of my basil and my celosia and my red spike amaranth, which we need to go look at because it went to seed. So quick, PO'd about that. And so I lost, they're still color blocked though. Like I have the queen lime, oh, queen lime orange. I have the pinks, I have the canary yellow. I have the beautiful butter yellow. I have the whites, I have the corals, and then the end is all the cactus. There's the white, or that's the butter yellow patch. And then the coral little patch. And then the whites and the pinks. And then the light pinks. And then these ones do not have like a color coordination thing down here, sorry. These ones are like, a cactus style but I've been treating these ones for blight too so we'll see this is my red spike amaranth the only one that survived the 90 degree heat and I've been watching it like I thought I was watching it like a hawk but then I came over here yesterday and I saw little white dots all over it and I realized it had gone to seed so but not just like the big ones all the little ones inside too and I've never grown this before, so I'm a little confused. But it does say that you can still dry it if it goes to seed. So, I mean, nothing's falling off of it except the seed. You know, the plant itself is still pretty decent. So I think I might cut off a stem and see what happens if I, like, hang it and see what, see what it looks like. I actually think it would still be fine in the bouquet, too. I don't know. I don't know, I'm super disappointed though because I was really looking forward to using these. Also, this thing is like four feet wide, like four feet around. Keep that in mind, you're spacing your red, red spike amaranth. Very quick teeny tiny update on the sunflowers that I planted just a few weeks ago. These are the double quick ones and the pro cut orange and I can't wait because I want to see those doubles. Should be happening maybe three weeks. Maybe three weeks I should have something, maybe? Fingers crossed. This is that lily that I saved the other day. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. The first, the oriental lilies that I grew at the beginning of the year, um, you know, that they lasted for weeks, didn't have any smell to them. <laughs> These ones are great. So I have a ton of ideas for new videos that I wanna bring you guys, but if you have any ideas of videos that you would like to see, please comment them below. Um, and I also, I have a, like guys, I'm sorry if I haven't responded to you. I am getting dozens of emails and messages a day on Instagram and Facebook, on my business page and on YouTube. And I'm getting emails to my Flower Hill Farm email. 
and uh, a lot of you are asking how you can support me because you're appreciating the content that I put out and I've, you guys have been beautiful. I don't want to cry again on a video, so I'm trying to hold it together, man. But I appreciate you even thinking about wanting to support me and a lot of you have asked if I had like a Patreon account or an Amazon wish list, and I don't have any of that stuff um, and I didn't really plan on doing any of that stuff I, you know, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. You are blessing me just by your beautiful words that you leave me, and I so appreciate that. So um, we'll see what we'll see where this goes. But anyway, do not miss out on Specialty Cut Flowers, the book by Dr. Alan Armitage and Judy Loshman. I'm telling you, I've read two pages. I feel like I know everything now. It's amazing. <gasps> Sleeping with it under my pillow. My coffee's cold. All right, I'm gonna go throw this video up on YouTube and I'll be coming back at you probably not until Friday, guys, because I've got a hugely busy day in the world of of going back to school tomorrow with working on some videos for some local school districts around me. And I'm gonna be editing the, the thrip out of that. So, um, We'll see. I am totally making a few t-shirts. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be funny. So, where's that lily? It's so fun how like you can smell it from like you walk on the porch and that's all you smell is this one lily. Truly amazing. I wish it wasn't so poisonous to cats because I would bring it in and I can't because my moon shadow, my beautiful baby cat, I can't risk it. Ah. <sighs> Someday I'll have a shop over there. I already have plans for it. Someday I'll have a shop and then I can display flowers in my shop, in my office, in my shop. That's what my plan is, so. Anyway, just wanted to touch base with you guys and tell you some stuff that I have going on here. I hope I will see you later on, uh, later this week. Take care.